are watching the RRL RC Car Backyard Racing League. An all-new backyard racing season starts today from a new and improved Tiki Run. Hello, race fans. Cam Kellen here alongside Jebby Jones Jr.'s father, Heward Jones. Heward, welcome to the broadcast booth. Well, this is just a tremendous honor. This hobby just meant so much to me and my son. I'm more happy right now than when I threw a divorce party at a Chuck E. T. Got to win race one to start off one race at a time. Keep the car ahead of everyone else, essentially. We've got new competition, so can't let my foot off the gas. It's gonna be a lot faster. There's a lot less sharp turns, a little bit more of a fast-paced turns going into the corner, so should make for some interesting racing. What are you trying to do here in 22? The same thing I did last year, try not to let, let Brent get first place. I like it. I, I can imagine myself not doing good on this track, but I might surprise myself today. Shadow Cameron is gonna win this year, and I'm gonna knock Brent out. I've been hearing about it for the past year from you guys, so i finally happy to make the time and to come out here and join you guys to have some fun. Track's nice, definitely it's a suspension track, very bumpy, loose, but it's fine. It's just a matter of just driving carefully. When I went out there for the practice laps, it wasn't all over the place. It's pretty decent. It's not bad, honestly. I, when Brendan Cameron called me and told me there was gonna be a layout change and they already did it, I was like, again? But it's actually really good, I like it. So I'm stoked to drive on it. You know, with the new crowd, and try and be a little more, you know, uh, I guess professional, I don't know if that's the right term, but you know, not as reckless, I guess. Oh, this is awesome. It's so sweet that you guys could have something out here like this and uh, plan events and have great days. I'm honestly super excited to get up there on the stand and start driving. I want to shout out to all you guys here. You guys all made this possible. This is going to be a fun event. We had a great turnout and uh, hoping to put down some good lap times. Here's the race structure rundown. This season is the same format as last year, with the exception to an additional bonus point for fastest lap in the A main. Howdy doody. The qualifying results brought to you by our friends at 3DRC Racing feature who else but Brent Post on pole, leading the rest of the field by over a lap. I know my son, Jeppy Jones, he's looking down on us. He's better than snot. The post is winning again. No, 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 no. Je Jebby's not dead, Heward. He was caught huffing paint behind the cookout back in Wake. Oh, not again. Anyways, the bottom six will battle it out in the B main. The B main results are in, and fifth place finisher from last series, Matt Nelson, will get the bump to our main event. How about Johnston in dead last? I bet his toolbox is full of beer, not gear. The weather on this spring day is a good one with mostly sunny conditions. We'll keep our eyes on the wind as these trucks handle the jump section. Here is our Mod RC starting grid. Six RC cars, one winner. I'm fixing to see who's going to wreck first. Two, one for car, one. Let's go. Here we go from Tiki Run, and it's Cullen who's in trouble out of the gate. Looked like Cullen caught the jitter and forgot how to steer that car. Cullen quickly now to the back of the pack. The rest of the field stays clean. Over the double jump. Whoa, looks like Post got loose around the new turn. Those ruts look the same as my yard, and he's a valve out there, and they're deep. Flip you over and break your hip if you're not careful. One lap down, and we have some movement. Kosh jumps to third, following bobbles from Cullen and Greenwood Jr. Four new short course truck racers, two of which are now featured here in the main. Don Greenwood Jr. racing an older team associated SC5M and Jack Banam racing a newer Team Losi 22 2.0. Whoa, Nelly! What an incredible save by Manam, who we featured at the top of the show. Experience on display there. In the good old days, I tried that same move with my pickup and ended up in the creek. He has superpowers. Banam is actually nicknamed Captain America. Now, whether that is because of his love of the superhero or his abilities on the track, that's up for debate. Here comes first place post into turn one. Wow, another bicycle save. We had the chance to speak with this backyard star pre-race, and he told us when it comes to racing all three classes for the Triple Crown, quote, if you win one class, you might as well win all three. Every race you have to think they're the best to win. Let that gum no good post keep his battery charged. As much as I hate to say it, I sure do like his chances for a Triple Crown. We are looking at one racer in Banam who is nose to tail with our leader now. He's already shook up the winner's circle this weekend with two wins in the buggy classes. Oh, and just like that, Post gets it wrong off the double jump, and Banam makes the pass to get to first place. Well, we... More bobbles for Post means Cohen is now in the mix for second. Well, it looks like first class Captain Merkel pressure and Post to make a mistake, and then like a strap bass, he dove in right around him for the lead. Oh, and more problems for Post in turn six. He collects Cohen, and another mistake allows Cohen to get by for second. Maybe about four to five seconds separate one and two now. Look what could happen in just a few short turns. Not only did I just get tipped off about a yard sale, okay, but Post cannot stay on top of his car. Banam, 
Over the jump and look out here, it's Kosh who gets tangled with our leader. That will help Cohen out in second place. Kosh, a second generation racer who finished on the podium last series, says this series it's his main goal to quote, have fun as he currently races in the back of the field. That's real cool, cost me a second generation racer. I taught Seb everything he knew before he, he retired out there on the track. But, you know, I'll tell you, I've experienced road rage in a funeral procession, and I think that mentality might help him here. Banam leads the way around turn one, and then Kosh, a lap down, oh. collides with Cohen. Look out. Ooh. Oh, and Post dodges Kosh by inches to stay on track. On oh, dirt, there's more digest in front of you than a Golden Corral buffet. Post catches a break here, and that could be a real call. I agree with you there. Here's Nelson now in fifth, letting the race leader by. That round five third place finish was his first ever podium in the short course series. Don't miss the toughest scaled motorsport on dirt by liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell right here on RRL RC. Colin Post showing more trust on that and jump than my trailer and hadn't left the yard since 82. Oh, get me. I'm. Oh, this lap. Here now is Cohen, who is way off the race line onto the soft stuff. He took home his first win last series in round five right here. Don Jr. voicing his frustration with lap traffic a moment ago. Now falls a few extra seconds behind third, but it's been a decent run for the newcomer. Yeah, it's been a solid day so far for Don Jr. I know he had a fast lap earlier, so look for him to close that gap. Two minutes to go now, and Banam in control since around lap four and hasn't really looked back since. The rest of the pack has faded as this race has worn on. Another nickname for Banam, he also goes by Captain Consistency in some RC circles. Who would have reckoned such a performance by Captain no. Consistency? I would have never thunk it. But this thing ain't over yet like Nelson there. You catch the rut, you go up and over. That's right. Post was top qualifier when we showed up here this weekend, so we know he has the speed. But you really need more to win these kind of off-road races, and Banam puts that on display for us here. Post and Cohen now in unusual positions, neither leading this race down the street. Stretch. Hey Cam, this note says Post hates to lose. If so, Colin has to run some tight lines to keep Post behind him. Looks like Colin is really the bad one in the car all right. A season opening event like this might mean some RC programs simply are not up for the challenge compared to others. Contact in turn one. Brent spun me, dude. You tapped me, Brent. Come on, dude. Pull over. You hit me. Brent, stop. Brent, bullshit. You fucking tagged me, man. Come on, dude. You know you did. Oh, Watch it back and you'll see. It's hard to steer these two-wheel drive Oh, Whoa, man, what was that? Well, I caused, I, I forgot what I was saying, but I mean, these two cars just got a race out there with the battle. Why am I not turning? Inside the last minute, and it's brought to you by Mod RC. From RC hop-up parts to live stream races, Mod RC has your hobby covered. Visit their website today. Here's your battle for a second, and Post makes contact with the sidewall around the final turn they go. Now it's Cullen who goes outside in to take position at the line. Oh, and Post gets caught on the turn two cushion. He ran out of real estate trying to go inside. I don't know why Post decided to make that turn right there. He had more time to do so, more turns, but I took my cap to Cohen. Oh, and now Cohen stuck around the second to final turn. He gets a bump from Post to set him free at the line. They both get caught. Yeah. Cohen will hold off Post for second place. Post finishes in third. One heck of a dog fight right there. They all get rabies shot like me. They can focus on getting Captain America. <laughs> Next time. Banam lives up to his consistent nickname and crosses the finish line in first place. He takes home the round one wins in all three classes. Holy s***. Terrific racing all around. Post grabs the fastest lap and Banam the only racer on an 18 lap pace. Let's go down to the track for interviews. I was playing with tires this morning to see what worked, but ultimately I ran with J Concepts Double Ds in all three classes, and they were great carvers up front, which is again the best tire for two-wheel drive short course. Just want to thank all you backyard guys for making a fun day. Again, inviting me into your club, and it's super fun. So hope to uh, pass on my knowledge to you guys, so that by the end of this series, everyone's fast. Didn't have it in the A main. Uh, had a little bit of a malfunction with that, so. Did my best, was able to take home third, just had a photo finish of the line with Cam, so would have liked to have that back. Hard race to kind of figure out. I was battling the car a lot, whereas I felt I didn't have a real shot at Jack. He was able to really maintain my stake-free race um, from the get-go. I'll try to just uh, take what I did today and um, learn from it 
and get ready for Red Hawk in round two. A big thanks to everyone who uh, made this day happen and uh, looking forward to the next one. I think I saw a uh, one of the trucks mount the other truck and ride it for about a quarter of the track. To come here and see the drivers uh, performing and to see what all the crazy stuff that happens, you know, right past you, it's uh, quite an experience. Typically I see uh, Cam and Brent fighting a lot back and forth. T today see Captain America come in and basically dominate the day. Those guys have some uh, some real uh, things to take a look at. A stunner in round one features Banam and his Team Losi truck in first place for the first time in league history. Y'all tell you what, there are some heavy hitters in this field. All we need are some more cattle skulls around the track. Can't forget about the bottom six, and it's truly back to the drawing board for the TOR of Johnston outside of the points in round one. Yeah, Johnston's right singing the blues after this one. I just hope the game warden's letting Jebby wash this race. Thank you for watching, race fans. We hope you enjoyed the Backyard Off-Road Racing Series opener just like us. For Hubert Jones, I'm Cam Cullen, signing off.